My BFI player choice this week is one of the tensest thrillers ever made, a tale of four men risking everything to transport a cargo of volatile nitroglycerine through terrain in which every twist, every turn, every bump may be their last. Le Salaire de la Peur, The Wages of Fear. Adapted from a 1950 novel by Georges Arnaud, Henri-Georges Clouseau's masterpiece finds its disparate quartet of anti-heroes stuck in Las Piedras, a South American village without hope, overcome by the sun. Here the Southern Oil Company calls the shots until one of their oil fields catches fire and the only way to extinguish the blaze is with a huge explosion. But with no time to spare, the necessary nitro must be driven over perilously poor roads with two trucks negotiating washboard bumps and precipitous drops. The reward? $2,000 for each driver who completes the mission if they come back alive. Yves Montand heads up the cast of what was billed as a modern tragedy about recklessness, friendship, hatred, and fear, with audiences and critics alike finding the wages of fear utterly irresistible. Along with healthy box office returns, it scooped top honors at both the Cannes and Berlin Film Festivals in 1953, and went on to win the award for best film at the 1955 BAFTAs. Writing about the movie many years after its original release, fated American critic Pauline Kael called the wages of fear the most original and shocking French melodrama of the 50s, an existential thriller, a parable of man's position in the modern world. By contrast, a costly American remake directed by William Friedkin became one of the biggest flops of 1977, although Sorcerer, as Friedkin's version was called, is now widely recognized as a classic in its own right, a film that was simply out of step with its time. As for Clouseau's original, it remains an astonishing piece of work, a real edge of your seat ride into the dark heart of the human condition. Buckle up. Dix. Yes, sir. Mm. Très. 